Okay, now let's look at the find command. So we can use the find command to find anything, any, any files, folders on our system. Okay, so the command is find. Okay, and where do you want to find it? Let's say I want to find it right here inside my desktop, which is what I'm at right now. And then the type of things you want to find. Let's say I want to find the files on the desktop. So I'm going to press enter. So F denotes files. And as you can see, what are you saying? all the files that exist including the file inside of a folder okay and now to find the directories where we write d so I press enter and there we go it is showing me the directory now here it showed files inside of the directory as well so we could boil it down okay with this max depth command and max depth will look into how much depth we are going into the subdirectories as well. So if I say max depth to be one, I'm saying it's going to be within this hierarchy of desktop. So I'm going to press enter. Now it did not go inside the my file subdirectory. So if I had this max depth of two, it would have gone inside. Okay. okay let me clear this out. Now I can also find the files or folders with the name. So let's say I want to find in the same directory, I would like to find the file, type is file, and then let's say the name is info, okay, and asterisk. So I'm going to press enter, and there we go. It finds me the file with info. Now in my desktop, I do have multiple files here, and I have two files with the name info. One of them is the text file, but they are case insensitive so what if i want to find the files that are case insensitive meaning all of the files that have the name info on them despite of the cases well i can write i in front of this name so i stands for insensitive case I press enter and there we go so it is showing me two files now we can also filter the files based on the last time it was modified so the command would be find let's say right here i would love to find anything that's of type file okay and let's say it was modified minute so m min stands for modified minute so if i say it was modified in the last five minutes okay so minus five means it was modified within the last five minutes so if i try to press enter it looks like i don't have any files that were modified in the last five minutes but if i say modified more than five minutes ago okay and now i get the result now i could also boil it down to find the files that were modified at specific time frame so what i mean by that is let's say i want to find the file that was modified more than five minutes ago and it was modified less than let's say 60 minutes ago okay so i'm going to press enter well there we go so it looks like some files were modified in the last 60 minutes okay instead of this m mean we could also use m time which represents the number of days so let's say type of file that will modify it let's say five days ago okay and it looks like there weren't any only this hidden file was modified five days ago now we could also replace this m with c or a so where c stands for change last time we changed the metadata of the file or a last time we accessed the file now we can also find the files based on their sizes. So let's say I want to find the file here in this same directory. Okay, the type is file. And let's say the size is less than 5 MB. Okay, right, 5 M. Yeah. Press enter. Well, it looks like all of them are less than 5 MB. So just to probe it, let's say, let's list the files here. I look at how big they are. Well, all of them are less than 5 MB. Okay, so to find files that is more than 5 MB, or let's use the KB here because everything here is in the form of the KB. So let's say if I want to find files that is more than 1 KB, okay, more than 1 K, it looks like I made some mistake. So it should be the lowercase K. Press enter these two files are more than 1 kb 
so the info that txt and the ds store um, the ds store here it is 6 kb which is correct and also this info.txt is also more than 1 kb okay now we can also find the files that are empty for that we use the command find where do you want to find it well in our case in this same directory and write this empty so so i'm going to press enter and it looks like a couple of files are empty now we could not just find the files you could also perform some executions so let's try to find certain file and delete them as well so let's say i've got this empty file info here so i would love to find it and delete it again the same line so for that you can write well find right here the type to be the file well this info is a file and i would love to see its name is this info and now i want to execute some other command here for that i write exec okay execute let's say the rm command now just writing this is not enough okay so i find the file right and i want to perform the execution on that file but for that i need to get this file to perform the execution this remove command to perform the remove command i need to get the file so for that i gotta write this curly bracket okay it's gonna get the output and perform it and now i gotta end this so in programming normally we end things with the semicolon okay here as well we can end things with the semicolon but the terminal gets confused that's why we need to write the backslash okay there's also another way to end things either we write backslash semicolon or we write just the plus okay press enter and there we go it is gone